you're gonna need is you're gonna need to head to your local Hobby Lobby where there are a lot of things to get for this. You can get spikes and feathers and chains and whatever you'd like. Mostly me, I just keep it pretty simple. Um, most of the things you can find you can find in the leather bound section where everything's leather. I believe they have like the rabbit pelts and all those things. It's down that aisle is usually where you can find these things. You can find the what is this called? This is suede strip, half an inch by 36, which means that you can make some belts with this. Um, also, you can find little studs, um, the little backs to them. So, like one snaps into the other, and then here's a little front. Alrighty. You're gonna need scissors, definitely. You're gonna need a pencil or something to write on here where you can actually see it so you can mark where you want the holes. And since I don't have a leather punch, which you can probably get that too, don't forget a ruler so you can have like the exact measurements. But since I don't have a leather punch back to that, um, I have to use a drill. Anyway, I'm um, sorry for the hard wire, but usually you can just buy the leather punch and it's like 10 times cheaper. And But this was like 20 bucks at Walmart. And then I just bought like the little drill bits, which was like another three bucks. I don't know. Um, whatever you have laying around the house, I don't know. Also, as the little, also in the leather section, I also found these. They're like little screw on, screw on little tabs that go on the back of these really big emblems. So all it is is just like a little screw and then, you know, little twist and got a belt buckle. What you do is you wrap around the little tiny waist and you measure to where you want it. I want it to about that long. So cut a little, cause I like to have the little belt loop, like the little belt rounded off part at the end. You can make them square, round or flat, whichever way you decide to do it. Pretty much all you do is just round it off with a pair of scissors. Okay. And then, since you know that it's about that long and about that far, the first two holes you will mark. There's the first one, and since the next one has to match up. Okay, now the next part is strictly up to you. Depends on how far you want these little tabs. Far apart, you want them spread together, do you want an equal number? But the best way to do it is to start in the middle. So you can have one like right in the back. Start in the middle. The best way to find the middle is to match up the two holes you made in the beginning. Match them up, one side to the other. And that is your middle point. And you can space them out as many inches as you want apart, as many centimeters. It's all up to you. Me, I just keep folding it in half until I run out of space. So they'll actually be even. One hole to the other. And since the half's on top, all you do is mark it. I fold it again in half. And we'll be in between the half parts here. And we'll mark it here. And we'll fold it in half here. But you get the picture. With the leather punch, it looks similar to this this is just a hole punch but um, it looks similar to this and all you do is with the leather punch you just punch out all the holes um, this is not a leather punch of course but you know just to say it but I'll get right back cuz I gotta make all these holes by hand now that you have your holes drilled all you do is take your little studs or whatever you have me I just bought these and you just push them through. After you have them pushed through, they should all have little knobs just like this. If you bought the same exact little things. And then all you do is take the backing, which is the second part of it and just cap them on. Now you have 
have all the little studs put on there. Notice I am putting some serious pressure on them and they're not popping off, so don't worry about that. Next thing to do is to make a hole big enough because if you buy these little ones with the little screw on the back, you need to make it pretty wide so you can shove it in there. The best way to do that is to stick a pair of scissors in the smaller skin, sin, slender side, which maybe was going to come out eventually, that word. You cut like a little X into it, long ways and short ways, making sure not to press all the way through. You should be able to ease it in, push it all the way through. Then you can get the little screw that goes on the other side of your emblem. Make sure to push that through. Guys, one more time on this extremely difficult doll. Put his hands up. yourself an awesome studded belt and the cool thing is is that all you have to do is screw in the little charm I also got another belt with a little cross on it anyway thanks for watching guys um i hope this helped and y'all have yourselves a great day